Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to tie a Kentucky rig for catfish. How do you tie this rig? Well, this is how I tie mine. I've got my main line on the end of that. I'll have a barrel swivel followed by the leader. Now I like to make my leaders about 10 to 20 pounds weaker than my main line. On the leader, I'll have one to two dropper loops about six to 12 inches long. These will be the things holding the hooks. If I have multiple droppers, I'm gonna space them out about 12 to 18 inches. And with the last dropper, I'm gonna tie it about 12 to 18 inches above the sinker. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be using two eight out circle hooks, a three ounce bank sinker, a barrel swivel, 30 pound fluorocarbon for the leader, and 65 pound fluorocarbon for the main line. To get this thing started, I have a long section of line for my leader. For this demonstration, I'll make two dropper loops, starting with the upper one, then working my way down to the sinker. For the first dropper loop, I'm gonna create a giant loop. I want it this big because I'm going to make the dropper loop about six to 12 inches long. I'm gonna take the tag in and thread it through that loop three times. Now I'm gonna take a pin and slide it into the crease of that line because I want there to be a hole there for later. Then I'm gonna take the tag in and thread it through the loop another three times. Once I've made my threads, I'm gonna pull on the pin to the left and the main line and tag in to the right. That's gonna open up that hole there on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, you'll notice there's an open section of line. I'm gonna pinch a little loop out of that open section that's going to be threaded through that hole in the left hand side where that pin was. Now I'm going to pull that through the hole to the left and then with the right I'm going to pull on the main line and tag in. The knot's going to start to tighten up. Before I pull it fully tight I'm going to wet the knot with some spit so it slides together easier. And then pull on the main line and tag in in opposite directions. That'll close the loop. And now we have our first dropper loop. Now I'm going to move down the line to create my second dropper loop. Keeping in mind I want it to be 12 to 18 inches below the first. I also wanted to give you guys a couple couple of pointers that I've learned since tying this rig. The first is whenever you're using really strong test line, you don't need to thread the tag in through that giant loop more than three times on either side of the pen. If you're using weaker test line, sure, you can add one or two more threads on either side of the pen. But whenever you're using really strong test line like this, in my opinion, anything more than three just isn't necessary. My second pointer is when I start to tighten the dropper loop, I hold it against a flat surface. I find when I don't do this, the line starts to jump it can coil up on itself, resulting in a bad knot. So to prevent this, I hold it against the flat surface as I start to tighten it. That prevents everything from jumping around, coiling up on itself, saving me a lot of time and frustration having to tie another knot. Now that I have both of my dropper loops, I'm gonna move to the end of the leader where I'm gonna tie my sinker. Here, I'm gonna tie a surgeon's loop. And to do that, I'm gonna double over my line, cross the doubled over line to create a loop. Now on my right hand, I have the looped tag end. I'm gonna thread that through this loop twice. I'm gonna wet the knot with some spit. Now as I pull this knot tight, I wanna make sure that this loop is large enough it can wrap around my sinkers. Now I'm gonna use my pliers to pull in the tag end to make sure it's good and snug. And after I trim the tag end, that is going to complete the surgeon's loop. Now I'm gonna trim the upper part of the leader where it meets the barrel swivel. I tend to keep the 12 to 18 inch rule here between the barrel swivel and the first dropper loop. Now I'm gonna tie the barrel swivel on using a palomar knot. To do that, I'm gonna double over my line, thread it through one of the eyes of the barrel swivel, then create a basic overhand knot with a doubled over line, pull the looped tag end all the way through and then wrap it around the barrel swivel, and wet it with some spit, pull on the main line to tighten it up, give the tag end a bit of a tug as well, trim the tag end, that's our first palomar knot. Next, I'm gonna add the main line to the rig using another palomar knot. And as a quick side note, I'm using palomar knots here because it's my favorite knot, but if you wanna use anything else like a clench or a uni knot, you're more than welcome to do that. Those also work great as well. I just really like the Palomar knot. Once the main line's tied on, I'm going to move down to the sinker. I'm going to pull out that surgeon's loop, thread it through the eye of the sinker, pull it all the way through and wrap it around the entire body, bring it up past the eye, and then pull the line tight. And bam, we got our sinker on there. Now moving on to the dropper loops, we're going to add our hooks. Similar to the sinker, I'm going to thread that dropper loop through the front of the hook eye, then wrap the loop around the hook, pull it up past the eye, and then pull it tight. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the second hook and that right there ladies and gentlemen is a kentucky rig let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comments and if you want to check out other catfishing rigs we got a playlist right here and i'll see you guys in the next one